So hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to something we are trying. We've done this in the past, but it's never seen the light of day. Because of chips. But <laughs> we're going to give it another shot with a movie we've been meaning to watch together. I said go get like, crunchier candy. <laughs> hey guys, Justin, I got, why are you sitting so close to the mic? I got <laughs> chips. I got chip covered chips, you guys. It's chips covered in a glaze of chips. <laughs> a glaze of crumbled chips. <laughs> Oh, there's popcorn pieces in here, too. Chip fried trips. And popcorn pops <laughs> as you eat it and just pops two out of the box. But um, this is something we've been meaning to do for a good long while. We always talk about doing these and when we ended up watching a movie and making a bunch of funny fucking comments anyway, at least to us. But we are going to do it with Batman Begins. Our, uh, our buddy Aaron is a huge fan of Batman. Yep. We all are pretty, pretty big fans of Batman. Because he's really the best hero in DC Comics. So we are just... I'm sorry. I just don't know what this shit happened again. Okay, so we are here watching Batman Begins. Uh, you can follow along with us. We're going to tell you when we hit play, if this thing doesn't fucking autoplay on us again. We're just watching regular widescreen DVD Batman Begins. I figured it would work the same with a DVD and a Blu-ray. Um, Chris Fearing here, and I'm joined around the couch by... Drunks and Dragons. Ballistic Robot. That's Kilo. So, let's mash play on this jam box. Alright, get ready to follow along. I'm gonna do it on go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I was super... <laughs> yeah. I was super waiting for you yeah, to start. Just, oh, just go we mid Racing against the fucking clock there. We were uh, getting a little hyped. The motion picture has been rated PG-13 because it could be too frightening for... And, and peri periodically, guys, uh, just to make sure you're synced up with us if you're following along. I mean, if you got this just going in the background, congratulations, you found a uh, hidden podcast, <laughs> which is listening to this without the movie accompanying. This is our... Welcome to our Batman Begins podcast, <laughs> for those of you doing that. We just talk over Batman Begins. Yeah. But, um... And talk about Batman Begins while it plays for us. Got the fucking you. DC logo coming up now. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, we should start a bat counter. Every time there's a swarm of bats on screen, let's let's uh one one. <laughs> ha ha ha! I will, there we go. I would almost say this counts for two because there's so many cards and perks. I for, I forget. Do they actually show the words Batman Begins at the beginning, or is it just that? Because if it's just that, that was pretty fucking legit. I'm pretty sure that's all they show. Okay. Because I've only seen this, like, the one time. Dude, you guys... Holy crap, man. Granted, I've I can't it. believe I haven't, like, just made you guys sit down and watch this one. We always talk about it. We've never done it. Wow. I've only yeah. seen The Dark Knight Rises one time. <laughs> Aaron, holy shit! I've seen The Dark Knight a shit ton, though. Okay, actually, I think uh, I thought of it. Uh, yeah. I thought you meant The Dark Knight. Yeah. I've only no, seen no, The no, Dark Knight man. Rises all the way through, probably, maybe twice. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe just once, actually. Just the way that kid looks and the way he's dressed, I think of the uh, fucking young Robin Williams from Jumanji. <laughs> so now I'm thinking like, oh, this is just the beginning of Jumanji. He's gonna find Jumanji down here. <laughs> uh oh, what's that down there? <laughs> oh man! Whoa! What's in the hole? What's in the hole? <laughs> what's in that earth anus? <laughs> oh, is that a swarm of bats? <laughs> two. <laughs> two. <laughs> uh, uh. Same way, uh, that wasn't even a memory. He just has a nightmare about a child being attacked by bats. <laughs> <laughs> I have to stop you. Was it the same way Robin Williams entered into the game? Yes. yes. Actually, yes, it was. There's a swarm oh, of yeah! Bats. There's a swarm of bats in the beginning of that. <gasps> what the fuck? I didn't even remember that. <laughs> They're like the first thing to come out. Yeah. And uh, what is it? Uh, the guy, that exterminator? Large African bat. Yeah. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I know all about large African bats. Why are we doing a commentary for Jumanji? <laughs> Why can you quote that movie just yeah. verbatim like yeah. what the Credits. Fuck? Opening role. Jumanji. Shh, I can hear the music. <laughs> I can hear the music when he's just gently riding through town on his bike and then it shifts. He knows the, the fucking police beginning. Him, and Why the fuck, him. man? I've seen that movie probably like three or four times in total. I've seen that movie probably three and, or four more times probably, than you have yeah. ten times more than you have. What? Holy shit, Bruce. I thought we put in Batman Begins, not the raid. <laughs> <laughs> you know a guy can fight when he uses his face as another fist. <laughs> Man, he was just there for some food. Oh yeah, there is just a straight up mud fight in this movie too. Only without all the vicious stabbing. But so, a lot more elbow, I mean, knee-breaking. Yeah. That is one thing you have to give... 
That would be nice to see I, a Batman movie with like the raid level detail for like broken bones and shit. That'd be fucking awesome. Or fighting. Like, I know it's good. I, I actually have to say, this has been a bit better than some of the other shots in Batman fights because I can actually tell what's still happening. Yeah. Right, right. If so that awesome. if that like came up uh, came across the mic just now, we got the mic sitting on the coffee table, and that was Derek raking his socked foot across the edge of the coffee <laughs> table, just in case that picked up. I'm a criminal. <laughs> I like your beard, Taken. <laughs> I like your... Or, I like your short haircut, Qui-Gon. What's happening <laughs> on your face, exactly? Is that Wrong turning white, or... Okay, yeah, it is. In retrospect, I don't know how the fuck I didn't see that. It was just Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. Because, I mean, in theaters, I was like, What? Why did they kill Ra's al Ghul so fast? <laughs> you mean you were, like, legit fold? Yeah. Oh, well, fair enough. I mean, yeah, I didn't realize... Fair enough, this I movie. assumed that that dude was Ra's al Ghul also. Yeah. And then I mean, wasn't, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and when I didn't realize when, this movie was actually going to try and be clever with that shit. Yeah, when Liam Neeson just straight up looks like Ra's al Ghul from the comics. Yeah. So when, yeah. when, it, when it tricks you somewhere, uh, Christopher Nolan goes, yes! <laughs> like, he fist pumps himself. It has one of those little, like, shitty, like, plastic staples buttons on his desk that makes the noise when you hit it. But he hits it and it makes the boom from Inception. <laughs> He's got he, a machine of himself... With two light bulbs, and it goes over to one that goes question mark, but it makes the bomb from Inception. So, and then he sheds a tear because he realizes Inception was a bad movie. I thought you did call him those Ra's al Ghul. Uh, we ought to watch that too. I've only seen it one time, so I would be down to commentate that movie yeah. with you guys. I watched it a bunch when I first got the DVD, and I haven't seen it in a long time. I keep since. thinking if I was ever accidentally sent back in time to the 40s, I would just make a bunch of different modern day films, but back then, and it'd be real easy. But like, I have a dream, but I have a movie about dream people who like steal th like stuff out of your mind, and they'd be like, "Let's make it," especially when it's like, "Oh, it's just gonna be in modern day times or something." Like, you know, we don't need. It anything fancy like weird like multicolored lions or whatever the fuck or anything that's really in dreams so we just need buildings Rose and streets Rose and people with guns <laughs> no, that is Rose but it'd be cool to see that movie made in the 40s yeah yeah but you no, remember I, when they go to the we've uh, talked about the, the um, temple to train some they, shitty old crack to pay off photoplasty uh, contest they did where they made like oh, yeah, shitty yeah. versions of movies I've only seen this once so I forget and the one they made for oh, the one they made for um Inception was called Dreams Dream Thieves. Yeah. And it was like Don't Fall Awake. Yeah, that was the tagline. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fucking Also, I like how they just dropped him off in the middle of, you know, whatever fucking Bethesda's next game is. They're just like, here you go. Okay. Oh man, Batman's Come on, Tosh. Batman's never gonna make it with the controls. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, because they're bad. This, this may just be me, but uh the bad story for me is my favorite part. Oh, like the intro or the yeah. origin stories for the heroes stories and stuff? For heroes. It, yeah, it depends on the hero, except, but a lot of times... Except for Spider-Man. Yes. Because Spider-Man 1 with the Green Goblin, I don't really like that movie all that much. The first Spider-Man movie? Yeah, the first Raimi Spider-Man. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's a good film. I'm just not a fan of it. I got you. Especially because I it's... I will tell him you saved his life. <laughs> 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 just look out for that one later. <laughs> Wait, is that really in this? Yeah. <laughs> you know when, uh... Gandalf's fighting the battle rock. <laughs> you know when you... He, he walked into, flower. like... Yeah. A you place know, where, like... There, right? Yeah. Yeah, it just reminded me of those blue flowers in the Zoolander. And you think of that, it's like they're actually poisonous and turn you furious. Oh. So wait, <clears throat> why did they drop him off? Because I missed all I that think, shit Ra's al Ghul told him himself. I think he took him up on his offer, so they dropped him off here, and then he went north to this temple, and now Come he's literally... Touch. He literally... When he, hit, <laughs> when he hit the, uh... When he hit the area with all the banners, it's like, Bruce, better be careful. You're going to parts of the world where there are men legitimately preparing for the next Mortal Kombat <laughs> tournament. You better fucking be ready. No, it's fine. He's just going to meet the Ancient One and start learning magic and get a cloak and it's going to become like kind of cool to see but kind of boring. <laughs> is, it, is this somebody in my bathroom? <laughs> is, is this where Mortal Kombat happens? 
Why are there ninjas with guns here? This is Mortal Kombat, isn't it? <laughs> You're cyborg ninjas. Wait. Is it Black Panther? <laughs> what did the Shredder say? <laughs> Man, sh I wish he was the Shredder, but there's no good modern day Ninja Turtles movies. Yeah. Just bullshit. It'd be nice to see the dudes in suits come back and like dirty, long haired Casey Jones. Yeah, that looks like actually, a homeless man with a golf bag and a hockey mask. That didn't want to make detective, but actually wanted to beat the shit out of criminals. God! Yeah, I know. It pains me, too. Okay, so he, he was brought you some flowers. He, was, he just goes, gay? <laughs> that is a very gay. <laughs> so, so he was supposed to pick that flower and bring it as proof that he, like, was able to survive the conditions? I would assume so. I believe so. Okay. It's been, that part I don't remember the details on. Because that would make more sense. Because if, if he just showed up, they, he could have found, like, some kind of transport that would have taken him up the mountain. Yeah. That was... That was but that flower only grows on that mountain, so right. it's like... This is the mirror. Right? And then they tie it in because that flower has the fear gas in it. <coughs> oh, fear. really? Yeah. Oh, shit. And that's, they crush it up, and then they, he sm sniffs it in this. Oh, Man. that's right. And then that becomes... It just hit me that in the suit like that and everything, Liam Neeson kind of reminds me of uh, Bake from Tekken. Yeah, actually. Who's Bake? Uh, he's a horror teacher Master? guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. I imagine it more like an Asian dude. Well, I mean, obviously it's got to be like a, a Korean man, but yeah. like just the haircut and the older, and the fact that he's older and he's got the yeah, right, goatee they, thing. Yeah, he looks like him. Doctor Strange too. Yeah. Because they pretend to uh, Christian Bale looking up at him. Teach me. <laughs> just the image of Christian Bale dressed exactly like that, but like with his hands fucked up and broken. <laughs> Teach me how to Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bitch! Th three. <laughs> three. Masa, Masa. Oh, B wait, no, Michael that's the Keaton. whole point. Be my oh. Yeah, man, I actually did not think of that. Holy fuck. What, that the well and is the, actually in, in, in the pit are like connected visually yeah. and thematically? Motherfucker, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's like he's a genius. His dad should have been played by Michael Keaton. That would have been fucking <laughs> bizarre and awesome. <laughs> Woo! Batman's dad is Batman! <laughs> and then he shows up for, as And then uh, Alfred should have been Adam West. <laughs> so it's like a long lineage of Batmans. <laughs> the Batman. I'll not bury another Batman. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. not bury a 14, the 14th Batman or whatever the fuck they're talking about. Oh, yes. little, cape little cape and a costume. <laughs> like in a, in a coffin. Little bat coffins. <laughs> I'll not bury another Batman. No. And you don't do the broken box. Yeah. <laughs> this story is different. Uh, to the butt cover. Because he actually sees the bat. <laughs> He actually sees the bad before his parents die. Who is that actor that plays Batman? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. No fucking Isn't clue. he someone that's been in other things? Probably, but I do not know. Well, actors usually are in more than one thing. He, well, he, yeah. He looks like the guy from uh, Elvin and Chumlux. He reminds me of the dad from Jumanji, which makes this all weirder. <laughs> no, cause, or I mean, the guy from Jumanji, he was all stern and stuff. Yeah. He wanted to send his son to that academy or whatever. Wasn't he like the museum curator from The Mummy? No. He was, um... Or not the museum curator. What, I don't know. what I like about this is that it really shows that Bruce is almost like, you know, royalty. Or he, he's like, he could have been the next, you know, big figurehead of Gotham. Oh, that yeah. Was all that he, he, this is all the things he could have had outside of being Batman if he didn't lose his parents. You know, the sun rises on this part, this is your kingdom, uh, Simba, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. I forgot about the actual like monorail ride where he's like, "That's uh, that's that's Wayne Corp over there. That's that's all of, that's our son. It's gonna be yours one day." Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know that would have been really weird if they actually just continued with that. They just let like let Bruce Wayne grow up for like a good thirty minutes of this movie. Like they're just like you're like, wait, what? And they just go like, and they keep going and they keep going until you're kind of settled in and like thinking that it's like, you know, is this really happening? And then just be like. It's a Batman, like, scarecrow fever dream, and bring us just, like, all of a sudden Batman's in the scene, you're like, oh my god, I've been watching, like, a weird, creepy what he could have had, and now I'm so much more informed of his motivations without having to do a whole nother backstory with him as a kid. That's pretty and then slick. And he just beats the shit out of the scarecrow. Yeah. And then introduce her as a ghoul somewhere. Should we kill this? <laughs> also, no, there's people in costumes. Yeah. Bats! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Five tits! <laughs> Man, we're up to six now. Let me, let me, all right, let me just say, it's not because he's scared, it's because he had to viciously shit. <laughs> we shouldn't have had Taco Bell. Chad, 
please. <laughs> Just, just like add the add like the soft fart noise. It's it like, wasn't it wasn't because I was afraid of bats that night. It was because I had, I had to shit. But shit, man, doesn't sound good. <laughs> Why? Now let me just say, the monorail leading into that building. I know a lot of people knock the old Batman movies of like their crazy architecture with the statues. That monorail shit looked. Goofy on point of those giant fucking statues. It it does because it all went to a point and it had like three tracks that were like fucking multi tiered tracks coming out of that shit. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I just take it. Go. So, did you did you did you guys notice that he saw the bat before his parents actually died in this one? What do you oh, mean? just like oh, you mean like just well, he's always had that fear of bats. I know, yeah. but like usually in the other movies. In the oh, oh yeah, like, there's usually just a bat that like shows up and is like, oh god. Yeah, oh. like hmm. after his parents died, but in this one, it's when he's born. looking for like a symbol, like yeah. the uh, mask of the phantasm. Hmm. Yeah. I never noticed it was actually after his parents' death in the other ones. Yeah, in a lot of the movies, it's like it starts with the parent death, huh. and then it's got like some kind of memory or just some vision of bats. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw it again and it's like when I saw this. Just he still there. has the shit. Woo! And then like <laughs> a shot of weird freaky hordes of bats from this movie. <laughs> and then him like just laughing. <laughs> He's my favorite commissioner. I ever seen commissioner that. Gordon? Yeah. I like to think, like I just thought of this. I want to find the one person because I know there's one out there that... Always accidentally calls this actor Gary Coleman. <laughs> I feel like that would be Justin's dad. Because <laughs> it's too close. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Oldman and Gary Coleman. And I was I fucking said Coldman. Because <laughs> I, I was thinking today, because it's, it's really fucking cold outside, folks at home. But I was just thinking, like, getting in the car fucking frigid, turning the heat on, and just going, I'm too cold for this shit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. If this was more of a Oh, dude, Spider Man. <laughs> I will kill. <laughs> I will kill Spider Man. You can fucking, like, put all the Spider Man films on a dartboard and hurl a dart, and you would hit one that has, like, a black umbrella funeral in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you're in this movie too? Yeah, I forgot Rucker Howard was in this. Rucker Howard, what shit. are you doing? He's out playing an absolute psychopath. Wait, who is he in this movie? House Harkonnen, fuck if I know. He's, he's uh, <laughs> basically a board member. <laughs> on, on, on I don't league. think he was in oh, Dune, okay. why did I say that? <laughs> he feels like he'd be the kind of actor who'd be in Dune. Is he in yeah. Dune? No. I need to go back and watch that it movie. It sounded plausible. I'm going to troll said, myself, because it's like, Patrick Stewart isn't in Dune. Yeah, you're right. Wait, no, yeah he is. <laughs> Punch the guy. Man, I don't even fucking know enough Dune to be able. Man, to Patrick Stewart. Yeah, sure no. Man, Dune is like a movie we should watch, or like the uh, miniseries. I'll they bring made. the pillows and the blankets. <laughs> <laughs> or the miniseries they made for uh, sci-fi. That's a good. That was a good miniseries. They got wacky shit in there, man. It's like a proto Game of Thrones in space help. on a desert planet. If I didn't have to shit, <laughs> and it's also <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, yeah. we're, we're we're watching Batman. Here. I, yeah, that's true. We've talked a lot about other movies. Yes, you've talked a lot about other movies. <laughs> now, the stuff that Mazel Ghouls uses, I've always wondered, is that the same stuff that the Scarecrow, uh, Scarecrow gets from him? Yes. Yeah. In this movie, it's actually like the Scarecrow takes their, their, their voodoo shit and amps it up chemically to a new level. But even he's, like, just a guy to do that, and he's disposable to Raza Like, yeah, like, this is a very plausible... He, God, his outfit looks fucking cool. Yeah. This is, like, a plausible way to have two movie supervillains in the same film. Yeah, it, it works, because one is working for the other as a henchman for the other. And it actually... It's, they're they're both, tied in together. Exa- they're tied in together. They're not like overcomplicating one another's plot lines. Right. And they're able to be their standalone villains. But when you find out like why both of them are in the same movie, you're just like, oh shit. Yeah. Because it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I do like how the Batman goblins are actually just goblins that they use. Yeah, yeah, that he just got from this school. Yeah. That he just adapted. 
I thought you were saying Daleks. <laughs> so I guess that's why uh, I guess that's why Batman would be so used to the chemical when uh, Scarecrow uses it. Well, he recognizes it. Yeah. He does. I just saw like him picking the like the pinch of gunpowder and turning and throwing it at the floor to do that, and then it just cuts to a scene of fucking all the ninjas running around going, "Stop, stop!" and fucking Bruce Wayne with the pile of toys and like throwing it at their feet and shit. But you know they're the bad guys because you know these guys do not have fun. Like they might be badasses, but they do not have fun. We are the dojo of a no smiling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have no fun. <laughs> the super serious. Reva, your party maroons at the door. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Your dad was a pussy. Unless this is fucking Flashpoint. Then his dad fucking takes the gun that killed his son and kills criminals with it. Yeah. As a cool colors Batman. Yeah. You sacrificed your footing. Fuck your left stroke. He had the high ground. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I think that's why I like this movie so much because most of this movie he's is not cold he's just crying <laughs> leave me alone he got told he was a scrub <laughs> rage actually that might be partially true though the way he was like, commented why would we see And another. For and those, another. Yeah. <laughs> for, the, for those of you out here that weren't around before we started watching this movie, during this viewing, we're taking into account that American Psycho is the first film in this movie universe. That was uh, maybe teenage, early twenties, Bruce Wayne when he was trying to be like the CEO of Wayne Corp, trying to be like the fucking businessman, and then he just finally got tired of it and decided to like. Go off and train with Qui Gon Jinn <laughs> in the ways of the Force and astral projection <laughs> and the Eye of Kaltafta. He used to flip out over business cards. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I'm sure someone has edited all those business cards to this point. After the hearing, so can I persuade him to stay on for a day or two? Are you done pretending the house is populated only by ghosts, sir? <laughs> Shall I take the bed sheets down? You never like it when I play ghost party. <laughs> I just don't want you sleeping on a bad mattress, Master Wang. <laughs> You've used every sheet in the house. That's why it's full of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place, Master Wang. It's the kind of place where clue happens. <laughs> You, my son. I mean, you. It it wasn't even Bruce. He fucking hires Alfred to look after his, like, fucking dishes or some shit. (laughs) His magic card connection. (laughs) Your father had me protect Now, excuse me, I have a weekend that I have to... He's got, like, a fucking flight to France that he has to catch... So we can sit in a cafe and look across <laughs> an empty fucking table and imagine. I, I have know, a fantasy. <laughs> I have this fantasy. And. <laughs> Whoa, stop. Your dad had me protect your magic cards. <laughs> he also had me protect you. He said, keep you healthy. Because if magic cards were ever stolen, you would be collateral and pay for no oh, magic cool, cards. Oh, cool, it's his dad's stethoscope because his dad was a doctor. Yeah. Yeah, his dad yeah he said something about a hospital when they were on the monorail. Yeah, yeah, and even in the comics, his dad was a doctor because I want to say his dad. Oh, his dude, dad sweet, I've got that gun. Saw some criminal back in the day. Oh yeah, that's right. Alfred's 
Oh, Ooh, weird God, alternate universe Jones. Bruce Wayne where an injured man shows up and tr- is treated by his dad, but then that guy kills his dad and his mom and then, like, leaves. And Batman just learns, you shouldn't show kindness to any stranger because they're an asshole in disguise. <laughs> How does you become hotter than next week? <laughs> you mean, uh, not really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's got that, uh, Katie Holmes has that cute, innocent look. Which is why I believe she's a lawyer in this movie. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, she's not super believable as a lawyer, but... Well, she's she, believable she, as she's a not, nice friend who wants her... She's not believable know, as a preschool teacher. She's believable as a preschooler. <laughs> Damn. She just looks so much younger than any role she's tried to play that I've seen her in. Now, granted, actors sometimes have to play roles that are older or younger than they themselves are. Well, yeah. And that is known. But she does have a youthful look in her face... That makes it hard to believe that she's like a lawyer of any kind. Like, she is, right? She's a lawyer in this movie? Yeah. At at this point, I can't remember. She's not the same one in the Bane movie, right? No. No. She's gone next movie. No, she blows up. What are you talking about in the Bane movie? He's probably talking about Talia. Because the the, the girl in the Bane movie was like uh, switching sides or. That's Talia. No, no, no. That's 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 a completely different character. character. She's the chick that gets blown up in the next movie. Yeah. Yeah. If you can believe it. Because it's Katie Holmes, and then it's female Jake Gyllenhaal, because they have a Suzanne Ethan thing going on, in my um, opinion. <laughs> they, switch, they switch out actresses because reasons, and it can be confusing. Because Tom Cruise was pissed that they didn't cast him as Batman. Man. Wait, what, really? No. That, was, that, was <clears throat> that sounds plausible. Exactly. It really, really I want to read the comic where Batman shows up to jail and is like, you killed my parents, you made me thanks. Yeah. There's some kind of comic where Batman shows up to Joe Cool in prison and lets him know, you killed my parents in an alleyway and made me Batman. And he says this shit out loud. Like, so yeah. everyone hears, is like, I got me Batman. Yeah. What the? F-? And then he leaves. <laughs> it's like, that's the darkest punishment, <laughs> Bruce. He's going to get so much flack. Fuck, I forgot about this everyone shit. Everyone else, yeah. and they know he made him. Wow. Yeah, I forgot he does almost try. I mean, can you imagine if you're beat up by Batman, put in jail, and you found out your next door neighbor, like... In your in your cell block, yeah. No, you. Is the guy made Batman? You get murdered horrible. Yeah, it's like, like maybe shot in public. <laughs> a flight of bat, bats by the door. Seven. <laughs> oh fuck! I forgot somebody else fucking shoots him. The mob, Later. The mob hired them to. Uh, Man, kill. think about it this way: if that person hadn't got hadn't hired him to kill him, Bruce Wayne would have just like walked forward and shot him, and then like that would have been it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, she's a lawyer in this one? You just said that like 10 times, man! I, I know, I think I said, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying I'm gonna, to picture it in my head. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Oh, you're saying it in like a, she's playing a lawyer in this one? Yeah, yeah like... We were also saying that exactly, too. I, I don't, yeah. It doesn't really... Yeah, I don't see it. Like, I'm trying to see it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just it doesn't. Little work. girl just cut across traffic like that. That's dangerous. That's why you don't let kids drive cars. <laughs> <laughs> Like me on your own pain, Bruce. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Christian Bale's way too intense for you. I like how she turns, just goes into this underpass, and it's like a different fucking city down there. Yeah. Ugh, like, where is this hobo land? <laughs> Did you go to the underground? <laughs> a secret society of underground people that live in Gotham. That would actually be a cool movie, though. A secret society of underground people that live in Gotham. You mean the Court of Owls? Yeah, there's, no, there's, there's tons of, like, there, there's them... There's this other group that's like some kind of weird, led by a weird preacher dude, I think. Mm. A whole bunch of different underground people. Same. I brought a gun in there. I must kill him. Slap. Slap, slap. <laughs> Now just replay the clip of her smacking him twice. <laughs> just make it keep going. Yeah. <laughs> like she slaps him twice and then it's like slow look over to her and then look back down and then it happens again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I was gonna say he just gets out and goes to the mafia door. He he's the... just sad that he's currently not in the Dark Knight, <laughs> which which is a much better movie. It is. But I've been wanting to see this one again, and we've talked about watching all of them, and we got to watch like the first one to watch the second it, one. It oh, really, it really, really, really digs deep into this Batman origin, though. You know, like, for it, underground really really diner, does. this is a nice like place for underground. I think, I think that's one of the reasons I wasn't that big of a fan of this one, because my favorite thing about Batman is the villains. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And with like two well-known, like complicated villains in The Dark Knight... That just that helps make the whole fucking movie. Yeah, because it gets yeah. to a point where Batman takes a back seat to both of those guys. Right, right, right. And I, I love Batman the most, but I think his villains are the, the, pretty much the best thing about his whole story because they're different variations of him. Yeah, yeah. And that's they challenge always, his views in different ways. Exactly. They're yeah. like it's never going to be like, oh, I'm fighting this guy. I, I'm just he's this kind of guy. I got to do this, and it, that's never going to be. Twice. Yeah. You shouldn't dry fire a gun. <laughs> Bruce Wayne's like, you're gonna ruin the gun. <laughs> he mumbles it, so he has to be asked again. Like, what'd you say? <laughs> shouldn't dry fire. <laughs> it's like, you shouldn't dry fire and ruin the gun. What was that? What was that? He's to keep fucking doing that. And then it comes back to her slapping him in the car. <laughs> This this is a good model too. This is a world you never understand, and you always fear, but you don't understand. Fear. That sounded like a fucking punch sound effect we put in our shit. Yeah, no, that's that's some nineteen forty something yeah. punch sound effects. <laughs> Like a dog. Like a dog. <laughs> Where's my spaghetti? <laughs> He's sitting there looking down and just fucking someone bring. Oh, it's the Stan Lee of the, the bums. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> They'll never see me coming. Then, then he just takes off running. <laughs> this is this is funny as shit. And then he could the force go. It's almost a Napoleon Dynamite run. White guy. I don't know. We could probably rape him and kill him if we wanted to. Ha 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 ha. I am Wayne. That'd be fucked up if he just is like, here's my passport, and they're just like, what, what do we do? Do we arrest this man? <laughs> do we set him go? Like, do we send his friends go? I don't know. I don't know what to do. You're now a ninja. <laughs> I'm a ninja, Mr. Wayne. Ninja. That's his ninja wood. You are now a Genji player. <laughs> this is what Genji players think they go through. <laughs> to, ma to match the Genji, I would Very imagine. gently with the sweet tarts. <laughs> to match the Genji, I would imagine so. You know that's going to sound like an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> My Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's Breathe good. in deep. Get high as a kite. <laughs> Black as night, black as gold, motherfucker. <laughs> it's fucking 
Seven. Eight. <laughs> Nine. That's why he became a ninja, so he could get a high. We are literally at nine fucking bats. Yeah. <laughs> We're not even halfway through, I would be. Holy shit, are all of you the shredder? <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, no, god. they're all the they're all the hood avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Come over, <laughs> come over here. It's like, no, that's not the line, though. <laughs> Get over here. It'd be great if Batman actually kept that part of the outfit, too. So it's Batman, like, full Batman outfit, but with a fucking katana on his back. <laughs> Dude. You know, I can see Batman fighting with a katana. Well, that's because Batman fought the katana without being Batman. You know I mean? But I mean, like, you, yeah, you could easily introduce that into, like, his repertoire and just be yeah. easy. I don't know if any of that sort of work, though. Did they have to rehearse this? <laughs> this, is, this is ninja graduation, man. Yeah. You gotta learn how to do this. Next, when you're done, you get to learn how to do all these steps so you can be a part of someone else's graduation. <laughs> yeah. It's really awkward when you only have two or three ninjas in the very beginning of your dojo. <laughs> Bats! Ten. Ten. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, this is the glorious ten. The box. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box, Bats? <laughs> bats! <laughs> what, were they real bats? CG. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, CG! Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, I did like in Narnia how like, a couple of those are real worlds and then some were CGI. Yeah, yeah, it's a good mix of like live live stuff and CGI. You gotta think, yeah. these guys have to hold perfectly still when in their rows. So Batman. Ow! Hey! <laughs> 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 so if Batman does that, you know. It's funny that Batman doesn't notice the one dude walking around. Got you. <laughs> Tag you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are now ready for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> he was raiding the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> Christopher Lambert. He makes a really convincing Raiden, though. If you looked at that guy, and you just like, look at this ancient monk person. He's Raiden. God of lightning. Justin, that's what you need to grow Respect. out. <laughs> what? That's what you need to grow out. What? The Fu Manchu, but like with the really, really longer mustache droops. <laughs> <laughs> mustache droops. <laughs> that, that's the move. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can I... Can I get a, uh, can I get two scoops, one vanilla and one chocolate, drizzle some, um, fucking peanuts on there, and, uh, some mustache droops? <laughs> That's the difference between frontier justice and regular justice. Impartiality. The fucking turtles show up in their samurai armor from the third Turtles movie. <laughs> Were you expecting uh, the Adams family? Ooh, nice one. <laughs> it's like, no, no, he was not expecting the Adams family. You fucking cunt. <laughs> That's another movie I've seen a lot. <laughs> Christian Bale's nose you, is an arrow. You just fucking quoted it, like, perfectly. You fucking cunt. I love that part. <laughs> Christian's nails does is a bolt, <laughs> bolt off of an arrow. Yeah, it's like pointy. Mm. 
Only the Sith deal in absolute. <laughs> Shame, man. Respect if the Jedi are evil. <laughs> Same, man. Liam Neeson, he's got a point. He knows what's going down. Bruce Wayne just killed everybody there. I'm not a murderer. This man. <laughs> Good point. Oh, this dude murdered someone? Well, eye for an eye, lops his head off. <laughs> no, my weed! <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be a hot box, Dini! <laughs> That was the good shit! <laughs> at the end, at the I end. I grew it by a thief! <laughs> I guess he's. You know. I am not a bottle of snacks yet! <laughs> <laughs> but if I go to the store, they will all know! <laughs> <laughs> Even the fire spreads, it will get to my stash of onions! <laughs> I guess he's kind of from self defense to where the other guy was just like, I don't know what he did. I guess the only way you, you can see owe that this me dude so many Doritos. <laughs> the only way that you can see that this dude is not Raza Ghoul, spoiler alert. Oh no 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 oh, he's there Shredder. Oh yeah, he dies. Because he just gets he dies by being like. But he also in had rubble. way less <laughs> dialogue than Liam Neeson. Yeah, yeah. But isn't it Also you can tell he's not Raza Raza Ghoul or whatever the fuck his pronunciation is because he's not the other highly paid actor in this movie. That's true. It's a Raz Elgo. What, what is, is it, movie? actually? In the con in the TV show, it was Raish, I want to say, and this is Raz. Okay, because so I've, I've heard... I think I've heard Raish the most. Yeah. No, yeah, I, Raish I, Argul? I, I'm, yeah. I'm used to Raish Argul before this. So is that what he is for uh, Young Justice? Raish? That shit's Whoa, gotta break your arms. Break, bro. That's gotta dislocate your elbow. Oh, fucking yeah. In your shoulder and all of your limbs? Yeah. That's alright. If he healed from a broken bag in like months, he can just like go on a fucking merry stroll and his arm will be fine. <laughs> just leave Neeson looks up. No, they're just for cosplay! And they snap off. <laughs> oh, and they both fall. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, is, this was part of the vacation package for one of those extreme weekends. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I'm trying to think. Mean? I think it's Raz El Ghul in that too. Raz El Ghul in uh, yeah. Justice? Yeah. Heal this random white man. Don't kill him. Don't steal his money. Don't steal his wait, sweet wait, ass ninja armor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell him you said you you called it. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta fucking, you gotta like, you gotta stop and go get food and then come back before you say the rest of that line. <laughs> I will tell him. Saved his life. <laughs> I was hoping you'd actually just save it to the end of the movie. Because <laughs> by then, we would have all fucking forgotten. Yeah, I was going to say we would have all forgotten. Then you'd be like, Justin, you saved his life. <laughs> and I peed a little bit. What if he just went to be Bruce Wayne at this point? How weird that must be to be sitting across from your butler on a private jet. After graduating from elite ninja strike force training. Yeah, yeah. I still think it'd be funny if after he like crushed the flower up and blew it in uh, fucking Bruce Wayne's face, Bruce Wayne passes out and wakes up naked on a mountaintop in the snow with a fucking note on his chest that just says, ha ha. <laughs> Man, I hope I remember to bring my slang rang.
CG Gotham. Is it? That's not Gotham. It's, it's been digitally altered. Oh, gotcha. That's not Gotham. It's too pretty. <laughs> you know, Speaking of which. I don't know, man. Fucking. You know, it's really, he's, he's creepy. He like, doesn't seem like a scarecrow. The way he acts. No, he does. Like, he's. And Kelly Murphy just looks like. It's probably the eyes, but like he he's got a very, very feminine face. Yeah, he kinda does. See, I always picture him as the Riddler. Yeah, he would actually Ooh, be a better Riddler. Yeah. Holy damn, dude. Like, With this kind of like up on himself attitude kind of yeah, shit he's got yeah. in this movie. Yeah. No, he could he could actually make a really decent Riddler. God damn it, why didn't we ever get Batman Triumphant? That would have been weird. That was the one that was gonna have Jeff Goldblum as what, the man bat? I don't know. I don't remember who was going to be playing the Man Bat, but I know it was going to oh, be. Oh, he was going to be the Scarecrow. No, it was going to be after Batman and Robin, and they were going to have Man Bat. It was going to be about Batman quitting, yeah. and then like somebody like Man Bat becomes Man Bat. Oh man, he's playing Watch Dogs, <laughs> hey, Aaron. or he's playing Bucky Barnes in Civil War. Hey, Aaron, yeah, yeah. You might turn off the fan. I'm, I'm sure that's going to better. It might not. We'll make sure it doesn't. And if it gets too bad, we'll just fucking turn it back on and hold it. Come over if it gets too cold. No, I was gonna say he's fucking. Oh my god! That it's just count. one bat. It's just one. <laughs> yeah, that just does not count. But um, it was gonna be like Man Bat becomes Man Bat and starts like flying around and attacking people, and people are like, oh man, is Batman come back as like a bloodthirsty killer? Oh yeah. And then yeah. it was gonna be Batman realizing he would have to come into his own. And come back and save the city and like clear his own name, and it was going to have Robin as Nightwing, an older Batman coming back to clear his name, and Christopher Lloyd as Scarecrow. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, Christopher Lloyd. I thought it was going to be um, uh, the dude you just read the autobiography for. Uh, oh, John Lithgow. Yeah, John no, Lithgow. it was going to be fucking Christopher Lloyd. Shit! Like man. that's who he wanted to that's... be his Scarecrow. Damn. Yeah. Man, that's fucking. Good. Fucking Christopher Lloyd's like older, like slightly shaking voice yeah. coming out yeah. from like the fucking bag it'd, face. It'd be, it'd be like um his his tune his tune character from uh yeah Roger Rabbit, except even, uh, Judge Doom yeah Judge Doom except even more like, freaky more legit way scary and they would have probably put him in like an actual full scarecrow outfit jeez that, with like the hat and maybe even the fucking scythe motherfucker could still play him too yeah like he he's he's like. He'd be great as he He's not the scarecrow. one shaking. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> He's not. He doesn't have Parkinson's. I know. Oh. That's why he can still act. <laughs> what's, what's, what's that? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> but no, it's see, and that's another thing that gets that makes me kind of angry in this movie because growing up. Scarecrow was my favorite Batman villain when I was younger. Yeah. And I Feeling love the animated series gently. for yeah. being like full on Scarecrow with the crow, with the sight. And in this one, it's just like, oh, dude, look at this guy in a suit with a bag on his head. No, yeah, that that's what pisses me off about most of the Nolan bad uh, villains. You know, I they're feel all watered down. <clears throat> they're all watered to be, down. To be like more realistic. Right. The thing that makes me sad about like, uh, Wow, way to fucking talk quietly as fuck, guys. So, uh, Killian Murphy is the fucking John Miller of the Nolan Batman movies. <laughs> but, like, the thing that makes me go, what, is, like, when he sent Zaz to, uh, whatchamacallit, to, uh, Arkham Asylum for his rehabilitation, quote-unquote, it almost made it feel like, oh, the Scarecrow is just... Creating some kind of bizarre collection for himself in Arkham of seriously disturbed people that he just assures will get into Arkham so he can have them all under one roof for some bizarre or nefarious purpose. Or at least that's for some reason the place where my mind went to when it's just like, oh, they just get off with psychic. I know it's like for, you know. Falcone for his guys to like oh no I'm disturbed oh I got better right 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 but like it really 
I somehow think that's cooler to just gather a, 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 a box of psychopaths. Yeah, no, I mean, well, he runs the asylum, so he could easily do that. And it kind of does feel that way. But, like, what would Scarecrow do well, if he now had? He, now he really is going into the American psycho mode. Yeah. Man, where was I where I heard, I was watching something where they were talking about American Psycho, and they quite literally were like, yeah, Christian Bale based his performance off of Tom Cruise. <laughs> I saw Tom Cruise in an interview and felt there was like kind of like distant emptiness behind like this friendly kind of smile and whatever and decided to implement that in his performance. Wow. And it's just like, wow, what does that say about Tom Cruise? Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Cruise. I'm a really friendly guy, but you just feel like there's like some kind of weird, intense, writhing thing that's not your friend on the other side of that face. So <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm sure you realize stop. Man, He's the only man that can stop the mummy. <laughs> so when does... Uh... Oh. <laughs> He's the only guy that can stop the mummy. And that's going to be the greatest <laughs> mummy movie of all time as soon as the next sound house happens. So never. Oh, yeah. No, no, don't you bring that evil on me. So when, when does he the black psychic come in? In this? Yeah, I forget. Is that Hopefully a- next scene, because that would be something I forgot all about. <laughs> does he come in? Uh, does he come in this movie or the Dark Knight? Oh, you're, you're thinking of Red Red Fox. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Fox. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, I was right next scene. Yeah. Yeah. Not nah, bad, dude. You said black psychic? Is that, did I hear that right? Yeah, yeah I thought he oh. said black psychic too. Oh, okay. Bl- I thought oh, he said oh. black sidekick. Oh, I, 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 no, I, I knew I knew after we started talking about it. I heard I was psychic. hoping Marlon Wayans was going to show up and be Robin. Because <laughs> uh, every superhero has a black sidekick. Really? Mm-hmm. Kind of. In the, he, in the movie universe. In, in Marvel, for sure. Oh, yeah, in the Marvel universe, yeah. But see, at least those were as they were in the comic. Like, I don't remember... Anything. The only black dude I remember from fucking Batman is uh, Aaron Cash. Who the hell? The security guard with the hook hand. Oh, man. That got I... his hand fucking bitten off by Killer Croc. Man, I'd forgotten about that. I haven't played the uh, original Arkham Asylum in years. Well, he's in the comics, too. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, the only I, one I remember. I, I don't even know much about him from there. Like, I only know about like, fucking... Huh? Like, it's not your TV. Somebody. It's fucking movies. Yeah, if you switch to a video game, we'd all be deaf. Yes. This is my cosplay Power Ranger suit. You can you can borrow it if you want to. I was oh. gonna be the Black Ranger. <laughs> of course. I love Master Dog. <laughs> What's wrong, Aaron? So majestic in nature. <laughs> no, uh, I I saw the um. Actual, there's an image of the poster with the yeah, fucking Megazords. Yeah, and it doesn't actually look as bad there. But it's still kind of weird. But it, they do look like robots there instead of weird alien technology things. Yeah. That's really cool when you got a cool guy who's like, look at all this weird, crappy, wacky stuff we have in storage that's part of your company. Well, you're the owner, so why the fuck not? Let's yeah. play with it. <laughs> Is this count? Is this 12? Yeah, we're going to count it. Okay. They're not swarming around yet, but it counts. It's a chill 12. It's a chill 12. (laughs) Since 11 was just so everywhere. Yeah. (laughs) This is the lowest foundations of Wayne Manor. This is where it gets really creepy and you have crypts and booby traps and all the real haunted house murder dungeon shit. How did... (laughs) Rope Rope. Excuse me, Alfred, what? This is literally like some shit you'd have in a weird, dark, creepy house movie. This is like where Dracula lives. (laughs) Or a Batman, if you will. (laughs) Can you see a Bruce Wayne just going like this with his arms because of his uh, laser chest? Because of his light chest? He's on my light. It looks like he's wearing... Oh, where he's wearing the... Nice green coat, Alfred. Or where he's wearing the... (laughs) Where he's wearing the light on his chest and he starts doing this to like just cover the light. No, it's not because of Iron Man. Oh. Because okay. he had the light. Oh, because he had his, his, uh, his, his, his bat reactor. You know it's real yeah. spray when you have to wear a gas mask thing to protect yourself from it. Damn. Well, I mean, just, I've seen people do that so they don't breathe any of he's the... Just, uh, he's just, he's base coating before he paints it. 
<laughs> like smiley faces and clouds and rainbows and pots of gold. Hard you know, some mushrooms and shit. I was thinking about it. If he always leaves from the exit in the back cave, out from the water, onto like a back road, or flies out from that area, where's the one fucking person that sees where it comes from? And it always comes from that side of the sky or that end of Gotham, like the Batmobile or the Batwing or something like that. Where's the one dude in Gotham City who's on, like, a fucking Reddit post or something? Oh. It's like, guys, I think Batman is Bruce Wayne because yeah. he always comes from the direction of Bruce Wayne's house. Yeah, no, there would definitely be some people like that. Oh, this guy. Man, this guy looks akin to the dude from the other Batman movies. This dude is always eating shit. I was going to say, he looks like he's going to talk and your shit's going to fall out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Commissioner Gordon from the other Batman movies. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking fountain, <laughs> like a fountain of Skittles just <laughs> raining out of his mouth. <laughs> he he looks like a damn dwarf, though. He, he does. Like, that would, that he would looks make like a me, smelly like, dwarf. If I was, if I was, uh, if I was uh, fucking Gordon, I would be kind of nervous being like, ha ha ha, you're a crooked cop, I know you're a crooked cop, and you know I know and I'm not. Ha ha ha, let's just let's still be, let's still be chill though, please. Because it's like... <laughs> oh my god. Good cop. Oh my god. <laughs> I pooped. It's the only time I've shipped myself over a stapler. We almost need to start a leverage counter? Leverage. Dude, do that? What? Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Never mind. Dude, I think you could have taken a shot. Yeah, no fucking joke, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just uh, eat several uh, stairs, uh, why don't you? <laughs> he, wow, way to eat shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that face. <laughs> dude, Batman is horrid. Hey, you look kind of hurt. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Would you happen to have any way of uh, healing You're not ribs? fine. You're bleeding through your suit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do in my Black Ranger cosplay outfit? <laughs> hey, that's the real question. <laughs> no. You want to borrow the medallion so you can say it's morphin' time? <laughs> Make a giant penis. That's the funniest one I've come up with. that shit. Because it's, it's fucking perfect. It's like, yeah. what's that over there? <laughs> yeah. After that conversation. to work because you know building a ramp would be fucking hard <laughs> we built a rocket turbo tank monster car you're gonna build a fucking ramp <laughs> 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 
Who works for the military? We're not that kind of company. I know kids have been built fucking ramps out of fucking two by four. Who the fuck put up? Puts ice in their alcohol. Just as he's talking, he's just slowly amassing a pile of tater tots falling out of his mouth. <laughs> Spend over watching again. Why is it watchdogs? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Spend watchdogs again. Look at them coming home from work every day of the week. Sometimes, sometimes things just go bad. You ever take a bat to the face, Mr. Bat. Thirteen. God damn it. I like how that was just like the belt on that harness. Yeah, yeah. Like a bat. Okay, oh, it's fucking like <laughs> Tim Burton, Burton hands. Look at my Tim and, and ah. scissor hands. Tim Burton hands. He activates. <laughs> he doesn't go with them. He just puts them down. See, even Bruce Wayne makes his own stuff. And the new Peter Parker is not making his own stuff. I mean, he kind of... He made the easiest part out of all the stuff to make. He got, yeah. he got the suit, he got the belt, he got the wings. <laughs> you missed it. It's like, what's that, Mr. Wayne? That's right. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why but yeah, no, no, no. He's, Aaron's right. He's making the easiest thing. He got all the gear, the fucking Batmobile, everything. He even stole the fucking utility belt from, like, a fucking harness rig. He's... He's sitting in a grinder, shaping metal into a bat. True, true. What is this? He takes a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> of the teddy bear, I mean. The greasiest dwarf. <laughs> he looks like he smells like truck stop bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only man who would have pee stains on his skin. <laughs> Holy shit. Someone would just like look him dead in the face and the only thing that would come to mind is, dude, did you wipe the seat? <laughs> dude. <laughs> that is... I've only heard two really you smell bad jokes and that's like the second... Like, the, the two worst ones is that one. You smell like a truck stop bathroom. And the other one is you smell like a free clinic. <laughs> but that's harsh, dude. This, I swear to God, it's Yo, gross. Yeah, no. he, he has turds and cigarette butts floating in him. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. This is one of my favorite moments, just a joke. Is this right. a small metal bat? No, dude, look, it's a rocket ship. What? Fucking throws it at his buddy. There's a guy in a bear costume hanging upside down. My favorite part of this scene is when you mess him up. He's out of nowhere. Oh. It's funny. He's just funny looking. A mob boss doesn't know what gunfire sounds like. He must be like a really well off mob boss, so he's forgotten what like panicked gunfire sounds like. Yeah. He's just like, what's going on outside? Uh, that's a good point. He's been living the cushy life too long. This guy gets so scared he about shoots himself. <laughs> yeah, that's the moment I always joke. We always joke about this guy fucking yeah. offing himself. He's so scared. <laughs> yeah. Is he the guy from the room? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Damn it, Derek. Yes, it is, Derek. That's Tommy Wasau. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that name? <laughs> Where are we? Marco! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Why did you say that name? What the fuck am I watching? Like, that, that's that's... Always what comes to my mind is that dude seeing that and being like, I can't even visually under comprehend. Yeah, like it's it's too hard. 
it's something that should be easily understood. And he's just, I'm over explaining the joke. <laughs> no, to be fair, like he probably saw what we saw—a world of nothing. Yeah, that's. And and I'm, sure like, that's I, I'm confused. I'm <laughs> sure that's what they're going for, but it still throws me off a little. <laughs> I'm Batman. Boom! These helmets work. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> that right there. Yeah, no, that is. He complimented <laughs> my coat. He, he knows it's Bruce Wayne just because he hit one of them. Shared a battlefield with this gentleman. You denied me that too. <laughs> I just think it's strange that we can understand what Batman says in this movie? Yes. No, yeah, he doesn't have the terrible voice modulation. I mean, Batman was understandable. Oh, look, it's Nin Ninja Turtle movie. <laughs> and even in this one, I always thought it just, it, it was too ridiculous. The voice he was doing was too stupid. And uh, it just got worse in Dark Knight. Well, exactly Ninja Turtle movie. That's right. Hmm. <laughs> Put anything on that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two. What? Leverage. Your leverage count is two. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Replace the photographs with stills from like the fucking bat metal music video. <laughs> What's this? Leverage, but it's like from a completely different film. <laughs> Is that Red Metal Little Media guy? <laughs> yeah, it looks like Oh it. my <laughs> god, weird. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to see that cop again. Just to, just to have another, like, what? Kind of looks like a bat or something. Looks like a moth or a bird of some kind. <laughs> yeah. Mothman did this. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Trapstick. What? <laughs> Long time old. Oh old my god, I haven't thought about Trapster. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the fuck? We ought to watch that Mount Mothman now. The Mothman trailer. prophecies or whatever. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's unacceptable? The fact that he was strung up and looks like a moth? Or the fact that someone did this? Or the fact that we It's the fact that a black kid got shot across town and that's not on the front page? That's why he's upset. Even though I do think it'd be funny if Falcone was just straight up dead on that spotlight when they found it. <laughs> Is that dude the commissioner? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's like, That's right, he's like Gordon's not unacceptable. Yet. And it's like, sir, how are we even supposed to predict some shit like that? <laughs> the great the police commissioner was J. Jonah Jameson from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Nice. Not even, not even just that actor. Just J.J. Full Jones outfit, Jameson. mustache, and everything? Yeah. I can do it. What happened to your arm? Oh, it got hit with, um, something. <laughs> if he is buffed, though. I'll give him that. Yeah. If does, I'll be the first of many injuries to come. And this is after, um, right after The Machinist. Where he was like 90 pounds. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, damn. So people were like, probably just steroids. Probably just a shit ton of steroids. And whatever that green shit is. <laughs> just so you keep your movies synced. It's ecto cooler. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. Great movie stops. Push up. Just add the sound of it. Dude, just straight eat shit. <laughs> Okay. Weren't they just guarding the coast or something? The ship was carrying a prototype weapon that's a, a, a micro 
microwave emitter. It's designed for uh, desert warfare. It, it, it looks like somebody. Um, Someone just needs to make a lot of popcorn. <laughs> it uses focused microwaves to uh, vaporize the enemy's water supply. If that really was a weapon, it'd be pretty damn good. Yeah. The damage to the ship was catastrophic. The weapon itself is so. Um, missing. Yeah. Question. And the guy's like, yes, sir. How the fuck are people not, like, killed by that thing by sitting in its vicinity if it microwaves water and vaporize? Like, we're mostly water, right? Like, wouldn't that fucking kill us? I'm sure that it has some way of doing that, like, for that to even be a weapon, but, you know. That sounds like the kind of thing you stand near and then you dehydrate instantly and go, yeah. Oh my god! And yeah. you're all over dead. No, yeah, that, it, it really should kill people. <laughs> oh yeah, those part. What are you doing nowadays, Bruce? Murders and executions. I mean, mer <laughs> merging and acquisitions. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they're super hot and they're from Europe. <laughs> um, you should be paying me for the entertainment for tonight. Fucking just straight up American Psycho, dude. Yeah, no, that was just. Right to be fair, America if I had enough Psycho. money to just buy the hotel over a minor grievance, it's like, it's just like you can't put your towels here, sir. I'm buying this hotel. Oh. <laughs> Rachel, I heard you were back. What are you doing? Uh, Taking a swim. Oh, well, yeah, okay, cool, use my answer. <laughs> Bro. Now you feel like a dope. Who's that chic walking by? Is that a terrorist? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking two spectrums right there. <laughs> Who's that chic walking by? Is that a terrorist? <laughs> it's now 2016, so you can get, get away with the same thing. It is 2016. Shh, nope. Oh, yeah, it's on the moon. <clears throat> My bitches are calling, excuse me. <laughs> it's like, excuse me. Hose. <laughs> he just walks away. <laughs> Doing like a super exaggerated, obvious, like, crip walk. <laughs> oh, shit. Enjoy your time in my hotel. Hey, Rachel. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> she got that saying all along. That's great. Thanks for coming. That's not what you do. That's just what you Probably looking for the insanity plea. Of course. Sorry. Do you think he's pre-op or post-op? Fuck. <laughs> 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 I can so easily cosplay as this guy. Just find his glasses and then say. Yeah, yeah, find his glasses, wear a suit, and then carry around a briefcase that has, like, a syringe in it and a fucking, like, burlap scarecrow mask. Yeah. Like a fucking doll. His eyes look painted on. Like a doll size. <laughs> Lifeless, like a doll's eyes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what's this what's the sea shanty he sings? Very Spanish ladies or something. Ooh. Yeah. The jaws. Oh. This is where I think he would be better as a deliver doing stuff like this. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Once again. Misheard you. I, say, <laughs> I thought you said gorilla. <laughs> no, no, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
So when did the nut take over the nut house? This would be God, that shit's fucking fast acting, too. Yeah. Tough acting and acting. <laughs> Tough acting and sanity. Fear gas. Apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> Fear gas. Apply directly to the forehead. Fear gas. Apply directly to the forehead. Fucking Kate blows up in front of his face. <laughs> Good thing, like, he fucking, like, it didn't bust early for no reason while he had his mask off. <laughs> standing there yelling like idiots. <laughs> He's pulling the mask out and accidentally, like, an edge of the mask catches it and it's like, push. <laughs> just both of their fucking screaming. <laughs> Someone comes in the room, sees them both, shakes their head and goes, those guys. <laughs> oh my god, that's what you look like? They were shitting the split man. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I think my moves are pretty dangerous. <laughs> he doesn't even hear what he says. Yeah, he just fucking leaves. Please, <laughs> before he says it. I think my moves... Batman just does that shit to people. It's like Batman's fucking perched somewhere and it's like, Oh, hey, Batman, what's going on? Not much. How was your day? And he just fucking <laughs> leaves. Oh, it was just so... And then they look at his car. <laughs> oh, That's as bad as eating in the shower. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it really is. Also, he, he will be dripping food in this he looks like He looks like that's the only times he has his meals. <laughs> He's a guy that always eats in the shower. All that food falling out of his mouth. <laughs> Hoagies. Why? A whole pizza? <laughs> this big shiny hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Do I look like a cup? What? <laughs> what you say about my cups? <laughs> is this guy just some cop? No, he was the DA. Or, like, working for the law of the DA. Oh, no. Basically, Rachel's boss. Ah. <clears throat> no, you should not open up so the Beatles can come out. <laughs> wow. I imagine if it hadn't cut away, he would have just like. <laughs> just kept fucking shooting all the bullets. And then does a like crouch, stand up crouch. <laughs> <laughs> like it's Overwatch. He just like walks over to him, still aiming, and then just tea bags a bunch. <laughs> and his buddy standing there is like, dude, cut it out. <laughs> Bad periscope. <laughs> I've got a spy on Joffrey. Oh my god. Yes. Someone has turned god. this into a gif where he just oh, gives yeah. kid a bomb. Yeah. yeah. Look out, Batman, it's, it's Joffrey! We got Joffrey! Kill him! It's you, Lizzie. Everybody's been talking about you. Holy shit, he does not sound like Joffrey. <laughs> Old Viking dudes. <laughs> but he looks like he's two steps away from a hammerhead shark. <laughs> right here. He just he just gave the kids something so he could spy. Like he, gave, he gave him a bat periscope. Yeah, so he can spy the girl next door. Be the next Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Duck down slowly while this guy comes in. Bad <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what are you doing, Bruce Wayne? Bad stuff. <laughs> Just bad things. <laughs> yeah, just bad things. <laughs> bad world problems. <laughs> does, he, does he do that in the Lego movie? Does he like call out some stuff? Man, probably right, actually. There's yeah. probably going to be so many bat puns in the Batman Lego movie that uh, we'll probably all fucking be dead. 
Not, not. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, that bitch eats it, man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then <laughs> pisses himself too. <laughs> What's in there? Watch out, dude! That's a lighter. Hope you like the taste of glass. Uh oh, third, fourteen. 14. Yeah, fifteen. Sixteen. Wait, where's thirteen? Seventeen. What's the mask? Being Eighteen. Crushed. Nineteen. Uh, yeah. Twenty. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this I love gets... Starcraft. Because <laughs> uh, he's a fireman. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that wasn't as funny as it just. I love. I love it when I said like I love Starcraft, and then you just like do the yeah like. Chris said something. I don't get it. It's not funny. Chris, stop being dumb. Can I dismiss him? Yeah. It's like, I love Starcraft. And then you fucking lost it. <laughs> it's safety line. What's freaking you out more? Being sprayed with crippling fear gas or being set on fire abruptly? Well, you gotta think being set on fire while under oh my the God, effects 21. of fear gas. <laughs> It's 20... We're 20 fucking one. <laughs> 20, <laughs> and his face... <laughs> yeah, this movie likes bats a lot, man. I don't know if you know that. This... Like, there's nowhere near this many bats. Like, he got all the bat shit... <laughs> Out in this movie, <laughs> and then the next couple movies, bat bats have nothing to do with anything. <laughs> yeah, he just happens to be dressed as a bat. <laughs> oh, happy birthday to you! He's an old StarCraft buddy. I just wanted to leave this. Rachel? Yeah, she would have almost been a better April. Rachel! Why'd you say that, nerd? <laughs> <laughs> it might just be because of the long black hair, but I was just thinking about her as April in oh, as Ninja Turtles. She'd be, she'd be better as April, but I don't think she'd be a great April. A yeah, brick and a no. wig would have been a better April. <laughs> <laughs> With a smiley face drawn on it. And Whoa, April! You're not very talkative, but you know what? You're cool. <laughs> I just did a lot of shot of the brick with a smiley face on it. <laughs> When's Chris O'Donnell showing up? <laughs> After the circus scene. Sweet. The flying Graysons without the safety of a net. The awe inspiring death drop without the safety of a net. Thank you. Oh, no. In case more we want like, to have a commentary within a commentary, more like Justin can do Batman Forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. They fell from grace. Hey, is that like Conan's car? <laughs> it's one of those bad things. But you gave this to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know it doesn't make any sense. He has to go, I'll give it back. And he puts it on a <laughs> stick and fires it. <laughs> 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 It like clinks off of a statue. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> no, nothing you would press unless you were horrid at piano. Seems still easy enough to get though. Yeah. Jokes on us. It's like the theme. Falling in. <laughs> <the stream. laughs> That's just set to autoplay as soon as he sets the elevator to go. <laughs> Booming through the Batcave. 
pool. It's like I'm in a tool. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be Batman. Damn it, I forgot the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Take your glasses off, and I'm gonna put mine on. So microwave the decide to vaporize the enemy's water supply. Boom! Vaporize the vaporizer enemy's water supply. Boom! Vaporize the vaporizer enemy's water supply. Boom! Vaporize Isn't it Robin shoved in the second film? No. Or is it this film? No, it's the third. Wow, way to be like real mean about it. So like, this shit really just attacks your whole system and makes you break down into a real life crazy person. Pretty like, much. Like, you just go untreated. Yeah. This is most irregular. I have nothing further to add to the report I found with the judge. I have questions about your report. Which yes. Isn't it convenient for a 52-year-old man no history of mental illness to suddenly have a complete psychotic breakdown just when he's about to be indicted? Well, as you can see for yourself, there's nothing convenient about his symptoms. Why did you super pronounce your T? <laughs> Patients suffering delusional episodes often focus their paranoia on an external tormentor, usually one conforming to Jungian archetypes. In this case, why are they all saying Scarecrow? Why do you have a bumper sticker on your car that says Scarecrow Mobile? <laughs> Why does Why your ass to call you Scare? Crow? <laughs> Why does your vanity plate say I'm the Scarecrow? <laughs> Why do you have a Scarecrow on your desk in your office? Why do you have a Scarecrow? Why do you have an episode of, like, fucking... The scarecrow walks at midnight, playing on your television in the lobby. Why did I find just a scythe, just an actual legitimate scythe, in your room one day? Why did you run up to that crow and yell boo that one time? Why do you have uh, straw right here poking out of your suit? Or are you the scarecrow? <laughs> the shitty, shitty organ music. Ding! Like, like she's oh, figured it out. Oh, I thought you were going to lean in. I thought you were going to go, I thought you were going to go, Ding! 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 No, don't waste all that milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's his grand evil scheme. That one stuck with me. Wasting now. all the milk that in shit. Why show her this? Why not just kill her or anything? Because he thinks it's really cool. He wants to show it to her. <laughs> Dude, I didn't look like he was spraying her. It looked like he was throwing pocket sand at her. <laughs> pocket sand. Him and that he was almost like, wait, too. <laughs> Man, a lot of people are just afraid of just maggots. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more like disgusting things instead of Yeah. Again, the Riddler. Yeah. <laughs> Take the safety off, watch your aim, and we'll find out. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's a lot of, like, da -da -da. fucking twitchy dudes with a lot of guns. Someone is going to accidentally kill someone else. <laughs> yeah. Pass me some 
sweet tooth. At least this action is also, you know, pretty uh, discernible. Yeah. yeah, you can actually see what the fuck is going on. I just got two. That's fine, though. <laughs> the scarecrow just watching underneath the fucking stairs. <laughs> It smells like fart! <laughs> what have you been doing? I poop my s <laughs> That's a sphere. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey doctor, check this out! <laughs> Look at that demon. I gotta say the effect for um, Demon Man Man looks really fucking cool. Yeah. Like it still holds up. Like that looks like it's probably practical for the most yeah, part. Yeah, that's the thing is I know it's gotta be CG, but it might be partially practical. Yeah, I think I think off. they might have done like the paint on someone's face. Yeah. And like blended like a prosthetic that goes up into the top of the cowl. Yeah. Get ready for more bats. Just for every syllable, a jelly bean hits the pavement. <laughs> so how come the other guy didn't go in with him? Because he's got to get a cheeseburger. No, the, the guy next to him said, I'll go in with you, sir, if you want to go in there. Uh oh. Because so. Gordon's got to be a goddamn hero cop. Is it for every vowel? I just remembered this weird, silly thing. I don't know where Amber found it. She was just like, I found a thing where it's just like you replace all the syllables in your name with oodle. With what? With oodle. O-O, like, L-D-E or whatever. And yeah. it's just like, oh my god, that just makes your name a fucking mess. What does it become? Well, like, your name, for example, Aaron, would be like, oodle oodle or oodle and <laughs> shit like that. Oodle oodle oodle. Yeah, oodle oodle oodle. <laughs> Chris is probably the luckiest. This is Crudles. <laughs> Just, I'm a cereal. <laughs> Crudles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Drew is Droodle. <laughs> Droodle. <laughs> <laughs> Derek is like doodle rudelick. <laughs> twenty three. Is this is this Jesus. whole scene twenty? Is just twenty three? Yeah, I'd say so. It's the same it, flock of bats. Yeah, okay. it is the and same flock of bats. Yeah, because okay. otherwise it's gonna get retarded. Let's get retarded. <laughs> yeah, let's get bats in here. This could always be a drinking game. <laughs> yeah. We'd be fucking dead, man. Yeah, 23? Oh my god. It'd just be like, take continuous shots during this whole fucking scene just to kill you. Now, I can see, like, if you don't cut it out in instances of bats but make it scenes, that'd be different. That'd right. be a bit safer. Right. Well, I was talking about, like, the 23 scenes that we've seen. <laughs> Cool bat cyclone, yeah! <laughs> the bats are breaking my fall. <laughs> Man, thinking about it, he would like falling like that. He would catch so many fucking bats under his cape, dude. Yes. Also, also to anybody who has ever seen a bat in real life, that shit sucks. Like, you you know, but I'm saying like people who who haven't seen it, bats in houses are fucking frightening. Oh yeah. They just stay there. We gotta go. I'll get my car. I brought mine. Yours. Was that a tiger? <laughs> just hits Gordon. 
Sorry, cops. Did just fucking run over that cop car. There was a dude in the car, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he didn't give a fuck. Yeah, they are almost sardined in that small car of theirs. Thanks, Batman. <laughs> Stay calm. You've been poisoned by me. <laughs> Stay calm. <laughs> Just running over everything. Also, I As love the, the Tank Man short for this. Tank Man? Yeah, you, you haven't seen it? Uh -uh. Man, that was a long time ago. Wasn't that an SNL skit or something? It was It was on an MTV oh, Movie MTV Awards. Movie Awards. It was like... It's on this DVD. Oh, cool. Yeah, we'll have to watch Everyone that. Everyone thought he was so. Tank Man, and they're yeah. like, It's a Tank! Tank Man! I forget which Batman movie I saw, but... Uh, with them just destroying stuff, you can just pay it back. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why he freely drives a tank in Got... The joke is full circle, dude. Which Ark is it one of the Arkham games you drive a tank? Yeah, it's yeah. Arkham Knight. Tank, yeah. Yeah. The Arkham Knight you drive a tank mobile. Like, it literally jokes back around and on itself. Mm -hmm. In a Batman butt fucking circle. <laughs> it's funny, when you were talking about her in the car and, like, like just the. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fucking rattling around in this fucking tank. I just, when you started doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Where are you going? I just imagine, like, him not even rattling. It's just like. You've been poisoned. And it's like he turns and he's driving and he just starts going. Ju -ju 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 he starts like fucking singing his own theme. <laughs> yeah. That car looks familiar. Maybe just from this movie, but. He did. <laughs> that guy just kind of <laughs> peering over his fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> Did he play in another movie? I don't know, dude. He looks really familiar. This would be a very hard, hard, like, odd time to do super research to find out who plays Cop 25 <laughs> in <laughs> Batman Begins. Well, hey, there's, it'd be easier to do with this movie than it would be with, like, say, the next movie. Or the third movie. Because there's so many cops. Yeah, in the third yeah. one for sure. Yeah. Cop number... Five hundred million and twenty fifty thousand. Did you just dubstep here, Justin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speaking like, of uh, you call the third movie Cop Army. Speaking of Boot Moon, I uh, I just recently got a uh, serious house from Serious Earth. Really? Because I remembered like the copy that I had, I sold it years ago. Fuck. On eBay, but it's fine because I got it again. It was like fourteen bucks. It was the 25th anniversary, and it was double the width I'll of be. the other one. Oh my God. It literally has double the pages with added sketches, the full original comic script. Holy shit, dude! And a shit, bunch of, like, behind-the-scenes yeah. shit about it. I want a copy of that shit. Holy that, shit! 14 bucks, that's incredible. Yeah. And just looking at the fucking art in that yeah. thing again, yeah. man. Dude. That man is the hero this city needed to fuck cops. I was, I was telling Justin Holy it'd be shit. fucking cool... If Telltale did a standalone serious house on serious earth and did the art style from the comic in their graphics. That'd be awesome. That'd be incredible. Whoa, he's just gone now. Guys, it's like he's visible. He's just he's just gone. Our spotlight operator on the helicopter can't actually operate this, so we lost him. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Batman is just destroying everything. He's just doing it the fuck for the fuck of it. Yeah. I'd love to see someone like fucking add. Can you guys? Can you guys add the uh, Batman versus the Superman right here? Right now. <laughs> The Batman vs. Superman? Yeah, why did you say that name? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, why did you say that name? But, um... Rachel! <laughs> why did you say that name? <laughs> but I just, I would love to see, like, while the Batmobile's driving around breaking into shit and, like, smashing stuff, someone to add, like, Batman commentary. Like, when he crashes through that fence before he's dirt road, it's just like, Fuck you, Vince! <laughs> Riddler squad can't find anything. 
Nope, it's bad, sir. It's two percent. <laughs> it's even if it was whole milk, it's it's skim by this point, sir. <laughs> it's like skim milk to the whole city. Jesus. <laughs> Twenty four. Nice. Wasn't I carrying you on the cover and it looked really weird, like the poster for the movie? You remember that? Remember how I was carrying you on the poster for the movie and it looked really weird? His neck looks really thick. I'm not wearing hockey birds. <laughs> Is that the second or third movie? That's second the second movie. Okay. Is his mask dark sided? No, it's just the way he's, the way he's standing his position. and the fact that he can't really move his neck. Because his nose is like this. Yeah. Michael Keaton's like, feel my pain. Yeah. Well, it's one solid piece. And like, they change it for the neck cord. Phew. They make it more of like an actual standalone helmet. No, that's good. Yeah, because oh, yeah, it's just dang, a full yeah. rubber piece. Dang. Now that she's passed out, you can take off your mask. And touch her. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my God! Fart. <laughs> Thank you for calling it. Just what would you call that? That's a television, Alfred. <laughs> oh, oh man, I forgot about that. <laughs> Cut back to all those fucking crashes he just had. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> That's what they're thinking. It isn't a date rape, right, man. Uh. <laughs> Jokes on us, the golf clubs are in there because Alfred's Casey Jones. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being just trying to be Raphael. Who are you working? It's a complicated as fuck plan, too. Yeah, it is. You gotta get, you gotta first of all. He should have just made a fucking variation of the toxin that could be ingested or seep in through the skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then just put it into the water supply. And that's that be that's it. It's done. Yeah. No, actually, that's even easier. Instead of like, oh, I'm gonna put the toxin in the water supply enough to get it going, 
I can steal this microwave emitter and find a place to set it off so it like affects everything. Oh, but I've got to I've got to put it on a train so it goes through all of God. Oh, forgot it was on a fucking train. Yeah. Also, the reason I thought Raz Al Ghul would have been okay to die is because he's Raz Al Ghul, and of course he can always come back from Lazarus. Yes. Yeah. But this whole woman is privy to this conversation. Isn't she like confused? Look, he has a Grindelwald haircut. <laughs> I didn't fucking notice. He's like Grindelwald from the eyes down. <laughs> the man He's a man the tank up. Tank up. <laughs> and kind of a Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. With the goatee and like the gray temples. Yeah. He would actually be a pretty damn legit Doctor Strange. Yeah, he would. I wish they actually had cast an older character for him. Me too. I mean, that would have made it a lot better. First of all, it would explain his years of experience at that place. And how he would have built up a reputation to the point where he was kind of like egotistical. Yeah, yeah. And it actually would have been funny when he referenced like singers and shit like that because it would have felt like, he like was old straight enough up to be, dad humor. Right, yeah. Instead, none of those things worked because we had Benedict Cumberbatch. Which he was still good, but he was just not, like, I don't think he was a, a good enough fit for the role, really. No, no he's, he's, he's not. I think it's just because everybody fucking eats the shit of what he does nowadays. Yeah. That they were like, well, we gotta get him in the Marvel Universe. Was you, were you acting Christian Bale or you just wanted to say that? It's probably, it's probably they just like got like raw footage of him talking to the crew. <laughs> Why is that rhinoceros looking man? There's something wrong with all these people. They look like animals. <laughs> it's funny because you gotta realize it's like, hey, they're not leaving. What are you doing, Liam Neeson? I mean... <clears throat> is this an Animorphs movie now? <laughs> Man, we already had that kid that was almost a hammerhead. One guy, one guy staying at the like buffet bar eating, just like, they're not leaving. <laughs> yeah, but I'm fighting them in my house. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll leave then. <laughs> no, it's just like, I'm fighting them in my house. So you're not going to eat this shrimp then? <laughs> Can I take this? <laughs> During the fight, you see the dude leave with like bowls of food, and then like come back in and get more. He's like loading he up his stops, car while he's and watches while he eats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I'm sorry, that bitch got stole. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Derek? I'm saying I'm sad when they stop the more. I read. I suppose somebody had to be. <laughs> Man, I like animals a lot too. <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> Didn't they come to like a conclusion though? They finished the it. Books, I never like, actually finished the books. The books did, I uh, I never got far enough. I, I got thirty books in, and that wasn't enough. Jesus. It was like fifty. Yeah. And I got I actually got the side stories. To be fair, if you were to go yeah. back and read it, you would breeze right through it because it's like fucking for kids. I oh. almost I almost started it over, and I just didn't find the time. Speaking of uh, speaking of books we read growing up, there was a part. That made me kind of like stop and oh, that's just straight up fucking Zaz. Oh yeah, yeah. Holy shit, I didn't even remember that. But um, I was playing The Witcher Three, and I'm hunting like some monster in the woods, and I'm going through and like you can use your Witcher senses to like find scent trails in the air or find like footfalls and judge how old they are and track cool. them and all that kind of shit. Cool. But he run like I'm judging around and I find this puddle and I like go to investigate and he just leans down and goes. Blood. Monster blood. Just <laughs> 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 like, I love goosebumps. Goosebumps. Oi, what the fuck did you just do? <laughs> that's an antique, you asshole. Uh, that's, this is my house. <laughs> What's rule number one? <laughs> Bruce Wayne's play. Don't touch your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch my stuff. This is, this is, this is, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Can you say, this is, this is, this is, Mr. Wayne? <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to save you. 
guys remember that line? Yeah. What? Doesn't mean I have to save people from what? No, that's what Batman says. He's like, I won't kill you, but still doesn't Oh, yeah. We are back to finish the job. This time, no misguided ideas People don't have their hearts in their back, though. When I hit, like, their uh, shoulder blades. When someone kidnaps your daughter, you find them and kill them. <laughs> well, I was going to demonstrate, but you killed him. No, I didn't. I saved your ass. You faggot. Then save Alfred. <laughs> Consider us even, Stephen. <laughs> King. <laughs> what was that? They wanted him to put him in the MCU. Shit! That must be weird being a criminal and then a cop comes by and kills another cop and says, You're free to go! And just lets you go. <laughs> it's like, is this reverse day? Is this a trick? Is this just, a test? The idea we had for all of us going in like Arkham Asylum, orange jumpsuits as different villains, who were you going to be? Uh, I don't know. Someone. The, I'd be the Riddler or the Joker. I'd be okay. the Riddler or the Joker. Why? I was just, I was thinking about it, because I remember who I was going to be, and I know who Aaron's going to be. But then it's like, man, if Derek goes with us, Derek's like the tall, thin, lanky dude. He could either be Scarecrow or Riddler. Yeah. And I just, yeah. I, I knew that you would come up with one, but I couldn't remember who it was. I'll just be Joker. That'll work. I think we should all go, like, Tom McCullough is our favorite villains. Well, we had the idea around Halloween that we just all get orange prisoner jumpsuits that say Arkham Asylum so we don't have to do the whole outfit but then like I would paint one of my arms all burnt and then like do the half face and half wig to be two face well you didn't even need to do like your arm if you just did your face you'd just be like two face from uh, oh yeah that's true because Sirius House from Sirius Earth it's just his face. two face only has that one side of his face fucked up it's not the whole part of his body really yeah huh. it's only <laughs> He's two-faced from the neck up. <laughs> yeah, all I had to do was find a, a cane with, and then uh, paint my hair orange. And find one of the, and if you can, find one of the bowler hats that has the question mark on it. Yeah, you had to be dead. Yeah, like or, you went uh, to the evidence locker and got your shit back. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't Maybe that's what I'm going to do with Scarecrow, I think. If you're going to do common, common versions. No, no really. Just be the Joker, and people would be like, "Oh my God, it's the Joker!" And I'd be like, "No, I'm the Cookie Crisps thief guy." Or you know, I would just make up <laughs> random shit. No, I've gone Guru. <laughs> no, no, I'm the Tricks Rabbit. <laughs> just no, I'm anything. Nice. <laughs> no, it'd be easy. You get like someone asks, "Are you the Joker?" I just look at them square in the face and go. You no. get like the just like dead <laughs> serious. <laughs> no. You can wear it if you wanted to, or just have it hanging out of your pocket and be obvious. And we could help you build the fucking like gauntlet with the syringe fingers from the Arkham games. Mm -hmm. And you can just have that on one hand. And if you didn't want to wear that, if you just had it hanging out of your pocket, people would see you and see what's in your pocket and be like, oh, "That's scarecrow." And then all sh all of us shackled at the ankle like an old school chain gang. You know, somehow this feels more like serious and more dire than the other two times where Gotham almost fell apart. Yeah. It's because they have cavalry in their army. Yeah. They literally and have because it's at night. Yeah. yeah. Dark Knight Rises, everything happened in the day like fucking gangs in New York. Oh man, Gangs of New York, I love that movie. If I have a straw on your milkshake, <laughs> motherfuckers, you gotta see that movie. <laughs> I'm tired of the references without seeing the movie. At least I don't reference it, I haven't seen it. We and, we just need to see it because it's a good movie. I'd like to see it, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Gangs but Aaron, I only no, have two damn books. It. No, Who one's the Mildly of the Red Christmas. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about then? There will be blood. No, we are. I gotta stop this train. Well, we need to see both, Derek. How are the warriors supposed to make it to Coney Island now, you asshole? <laughs> also, Ooh. look at this weird-ass fucking uh, city that's underneath 
the fucking That's drain. what I was telling you. <laughs> Get out of here, shark boy. Go find Lava Girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Justin? Oh no, this bridge became conveniently just a ramp. <laughs> oh, there she is. Here's Lava Girl. <laughs> the, the pointy. The pointy. Batman fucking pulls out his phone, takes a picture of the bridge, texts it to Lucius Fox, and says, This is how you build a ramp. <laughs> People that don't know that these people aren't SWAT coming up to them and then being like, oh my god, I hate wearing this uniform. Because you gotta think, everyone just thinks they're here, right? They're emergency personnel. Come help me! <coughs> Man, he's a little slow on the draw on getting that mask on. Yeah. No, he's so immune to the gas. That's true. Oh, yeah. I'm farting. <laughs> Uh. Well, like we didn't know that. <laughs> if I didn't choose to be somebody in the superhero universe, I would just be a regular civilian dude. Because I would not want a backstory of a superhero. Because <laughs> they, they have some terrible backstories. She's comforting Joffrey. <laughs> Kill her. <laughs> But well, we brought up the Warriors this afternoon, just like fucking somewhere out on that horizon came up. And we were talking about the, um, the scene with, Jesus. I wouldn't blame anybody for yeah. trying to fire into anything on that one. But the scene with Luther clacking the bottles, oh, yeah. the Warriors come out and play. He just like abruptly Tarantino style catches a bullet in the back of the head. His fucking face explodes out. <laughs> he lands on the windowsill and the bottles like slide off his fingers and individually crash onto the pavement. Nice. And the warriors stop and look up and they just barely see the glint of a scope like going towards them as Frank Castle starts gunning them down. Because he's just he's just cleaning up gangs off the street. Nice. He doesn't fucking know the difference. <laughs> also, that bitch in there was just eating somebody's face. Yeah, you that. I like how they're kind of showing the fear also, gas working in different ways. I finished Twin Peaks for one. But did you know the, the dude who's, um... Uh, I don't... Uh, Whoa! Main guy. Oh damn, he is actually wearing the fucking straight jacket in this shot. The main bad guy is, uh, you know, the guy who owns the mill. Yeah. He's brother. He's Luther. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I, I, I knew I, I knew. I gotta watch that just, shit again, dude. Yeah. But I'm glad you finished. Man, glad holy shit. You finished <laughs> that it, man. fucking ending is crazy. And I can't believe they, like, I knew it before going in. I knew that that actually happened. Yeah. But, it's still ridiculous that that was where the show left off for this long. They're bringing, yeah, but they're bringing it back, though, man. Yeah. Only a matter of time. I need your mustache. Instant bitch. Yeah. I think him flailing around on a horse, screaming with a straight jacket with sparks coming out of his face, riding off into the fog is probably scarier than him riding up with a fire breathing horse. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's something far more like uh, unnerving yeah, and like, tormenting about what, it. What the fuck killed him or like disabled him so bad. Or like, what the hell is. Am I in hell? What's happening here? Yeah, yeah. How does this fear gas turn half the people into zombies and the other half into people who are scared? Why does he look like Matthew McConaughey from uh, Rain of Fire? <laughs> Maybe he's a fan of Matthew McConaughey from Rain of Fire. <laughs> we look at the credits, it is Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> just throw up at that point. Let's just go over. I have a tank. <laughs> Why do people live in this part of town? I should have let you fall. <laughs> you could die. At least tell me your name. Batman. It's not who I am under me. But what I do that defines me. Bruce? 
Isn't oh, that... oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always the case with a superhero where they're like, something that only we would know? Leap, and then they're like, whisper your name with a question mark? You know, like. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's cliche. Like, the superhero turned around and was just like, fucking. I don't know. Tricks are for kids. Y yeah. Tricks <laughs> Rabbit? <laughs> yeah. With that weird little mask. Except for Iron Man and Doctor Strange. Yeah, they, their faces are uncovered. Oh, well, you took my advice about theatricality, Listen. I'm dressed as a bat. <laughs> you forgot the rest of your Vader mask. The super fucking, like, point on Mo those? The modern ninjas. Yeah. You know, they're, they're standing... Like, they really do look like Mortal Kombat motherfuckers. Oh, wow. I... Shit, I can't remember what I was gonna say about their costumes or whatever. Your cyber ninjas won't stop me. Yikes. <laughs> Gary Oldman doesn't have to pretend to be confused in that fucking bizarre ass tank machine. I would be lost looking too. I'd be like, ah, uh, how I fucking anything. Yeah, these punches remind me of you know the action in this movie is kind of disorienting when people have been able to use it for that Batman versus Batman yeah. versus Batman. Oh, yeah, no, that's always what I was thinking of when I uh, watched this part. Holy shit! Why are half the people's weird zombies? Why is light coming out of his mouth? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Why? Really? No, actually, seriously, what does the big yeah, ass do shit. to make these people weird zombie people that are trying to eat Batman? Albeit that's a cool image of him being pulled down by just all those random people that are, like, trying to eat him. Or whatever the fuck they're trying to do. <laughs> I think they're just really trying to take off his mask. Another reason why I thought it would be, be kind of cool if the end of uh, the Dark Knight Rises was Batman dying and people lifting his body out of, a, like, a hole or something like that. That would be cool. The, in the Dark Knight Rises. I think that would have been funny if they were just actually just trying to take his mask off instead of trying to eat him. That would have been messed up if they had killed him and just called him the day. Like, had, the end, had it all finish up and be the end and there'd be no more things like that in Gotham. It's like, that's it. It's over. Yeah. Oh, good. They figured it out, too. You got it out. an old man to, to explain things kind of incredulously. <laughs> also, he figured it out without actually uh, knowing anything about what's going on. Yeah. He yeah. literally just figured it out by looking at that chart, going, Oh my god! That train's gotta stop! Like, yeah, it is pretty good. Good on you, old man. Also, how the fuck is he not getting caught on anything? Yeah. Aaron, shush. <laughs> <laughs> That's you a think good point. Shit being, attached, oh! shit being attached to the side of the train when they go through the archways, yeah. even if he's swinging out of the way of the stands, it would be caught by the You don't have a ticket! Track. Yeah. To ride this train to. <laughs> oh, it's not his fault! Oh! <laughs> this car just sucks! <laughs> this car handles really bad. Batman's fucking fighting him and he's just like, Don't need money. Don't need fame. Don't need credit cards to ride this train. <laughs> Batman singing the power of love. <laughs> As he fights. <laughs> that's that's the power of love. love! That's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> He flies forward. I'm pooping! <laughs> Seat <Ooh>. flushing. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Don't worry, it's coming, Aaron. And then we need to watch fucking Batman Forever. Oh, because wait, of all the comments you guys make about it. Wait, Batman Forever or Batman and Robin? Well, I'm saying we need to watch Batman and Robin. Oh, yeah. But we also need to do a commentary on Batman Forever. Yeah, I was saying Batman Forever. Oh, okay, I thought you were saying Batman and Robin. I forgot that... I always forget that Chris O'Donnell's in fucking Forever as well. Mm -hmm. probably, He's probably because I only saw that when I initially saw it with you guys. Growing up, it was only Batman and Robin. Yeah, no, that, that blows my mind. He actually is going to punch him with those ninja stars in the face. Here comes the line I was talking about. Yikes. He cut what he hit to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think he has exploding oh, batteries. Oh, that one, I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. Yeah. He's using the force. That's why he closed his eyes. That's why he's going to be in the fourth movie. When I first watched this, I was like, it's okay, he's just got Lazarus pits, right? They wouldn't really just kill him off. Oh, shit. Because, of course, they're going to kill him off. Because... And, uh, how, does, how does that thing not, like, fall? Don't see a corpse, not definitive. Yeah. But... In the modern modern superhero movies these days love to kill off their villains though, or get rid of them somehow, or not kill them off, and it be the only actor who actually dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they kill fucking Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson's still alive. They kill fucking Aaron Eckhart. Aaron Eckhart's still alive. They leave the Joker alive. Fucking Heath Ledger. Fucking ODs. Y yeah, yeah. Granted, Scarecrow is in all still three. alive. Oh yeah, forget he shows up in all the other ones too. The meeting's already started. What? Fuck. I seem to remember. <laughs> <laughs> you did. What? <laughs> like he came to the door and looked saw him and so he went, fuck. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> the drunken peanut burns down home. Bruce Wayne? What makes you think you can decide who's running Wayne Enterprises? Well, the fact that I'm the owner. What are you talking about? The company went public a week ago, and I bought most of the shares. To various charitable foundations and trusts and so forth. Look, it's all a bit technical, but the important thing is that... He's got to have thought that was funny when you said that at the party. Oh, snap. Two lines of yours thrown back in your face. Get out of here, Rector Howard. <laughs> you fuck. And then he became a hobo? <laughs> Damn. It's a follow continuing story with that shit, too. Also, he went down. Like, that's right down. the other one I remember. All I could remember Rector Howard from is being fucking Cardinal Rourke. Who's that? In, uh, in Sin City, in Marv's story. Really? The Cardinal that, like... Teaches Elijah Wood how to eat people. Holy shit. And then, shit. like, Marv finds him, and that's the last piece of the puzzle, and he, like, fucking bare hand brutalizes and mutilates that old man. Fuck. Is there a comic book? But, I mean, I always think of Rutger Howard for uh, Blade Runner. That's the other. God damn. I, yeah. I, I see his face, but I could not fucking picture him. Ah. In yeah, any like, roles except for like that, because I remember like his the lines he says to Marv taunting him right before he fucking just kills him. Disappears from your mind like tears in the rain. <laughs> Is there a comic book to where the uh, superhero does it have a secret identity? Yes. Um, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Fantastic Four. Actually, yeah, Fantastic Four. Oh, yeah. Everyone just knows that. Yeah. Everyone just knows they're them. Yeah. All the other ones, they like they keep their secret identity pretty much. At that's, least for a while. That's kind of their um, the shtick of being a superhero for the most part. So you have a super uh, like a, a secret identity. Yeah. yeah. Don't. Criminals now fear. The man who vanished. He's dead. The man who vanished. He's dead. <laughs> he never came back at all. Because he's dead. Because this is bad writing. <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, Aaron. Yeah, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> there are some people who really do give it crap for stuff, different things like that. And it does, a lot of the dialogue is kind of just so formal. It doesn't really feel like real people talking to each other. Yeah, this places. Ha, this being like my maybe my, my only second or third time even actually seeing this movie, this this really does seem like a kind of weak film. Overall, it is. Yeah. I mean, it's got good things and it's got bad things, but it doesn't really... like. It's, it's not exciting. It's not. It, it really is not exciting. It's kind of just kind of... The only intrigue was like the slight intrigue when you find out, oh shit, they've been working together. Right. And but even, other than that... And even that, yeah, even that is just... All right. When I, when I first heard that, um, first time we saw it, I thought it was like him as a kid. Just the way it was. Just because he, uh, he had that vision of him yeah, well, and his dad. I thought this might be so a I just thought it was him as a kid. It was like, what will you do? But it was just her. No. Oh. So did those guys know that he's Batman? No. Just the construction so. workers have any inkling? Like... Check it out. Look at these you gotta think all the Batman, Batman stuff is rebuilt. That we improved yeah. this area for no fucking reason. Well, he, he's a, you know, nice. yeah. How'd you get this? Someone donated it from the Wayne Foundation. <laughs> How is that possible? No idea. Lies <laughs> now. <laughs> no idea. He runs at the fucking ledge. He jumps, flapping his arms viciously. <laughs> we. <laughs> This is this is pretty good for setting up the rest of it. It is. Yeah. If anything, this is this might be my favorite part of this movie strictly because of that. I just realized the best symbol looks like a W in this world. And you're wearing a mask. Jumping off rooftops. Take this guy. Armed robbery, double homicide. Oh, and you'll never have to. And you'll never have to. Uh. <laughs> he didn't even extend his cape. He yeah, just kind of fell. Dropped. Oh, there we go. He waited to like, kind of like, have it be a lead up before he held X to glide. <laughs> And yes, Derek, the bat symbol does the bat signal does kind of look like a W for Whoa, Batman. <laughs> I was thinking about Wayne and the presence. So. <laughs> That's the giveaway. All right, so what were you gonna say? I know, I was just thinking about because the, the two little tails, the big tails. Like, oh like, yeah, a fucking awful movie. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was gonna say so. So, <laughs> Damn. quick little final thoughts on Batman Begins. I don't care for the actual bat suit in this one either, because he kind of just, it, it has this muscular thing going on with the neck. He looks more like a panther to me. Just <laughs> panther man. <laughs> He's got like a weird head extension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, now that he can't turn his neck, so it's always like slightly like hunched over and then like slowly like turned everything. <laughs> yeah. It's plot is cool, but it's like got somehow needlessly complex elements in it. Yeah. Yeah. That weren't needed. Like, it could have been streamlined to make it more interesting. Yeah. It could have been streamlined. Um, we could have had a bit more time with the villains. Yeah. It, it all yeah. like, would have been good. Or at least that Scarecrow's really motivation, because he's the one guy who's like, why are you doing this again? Are you just... Right. Like, why, sick, how did you even start game working game? for the League of Shadows? Are you a no, sick Michael person? Payne's What's happening? Offering. Yeah. Okay. And Killian, then, Killian Murphy is Scarecrow. Yeah. Is, <laughs> Killian Murphy is Yeah. His name was Kane in the movie. Yeah. No, no. Michael Kane is Alfred. But and that's it's a shame that Scarecrow's just glossed over because yeah. the fact that his shit is fear gas and yeah. Batman's tool is fear yeah makes so much more of like a one v one kind of confrontation yeah because they pretty much they use the same tool in different capacities mm -hmm. 
But yeah, this like the whole film just feels bland. And I think it's yeah. also because Christian Bale seems bland as Batman. He doesn't I, seem like a strong Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I fucking hate his Bruce Wayne, dude. That's just him doing American Psycho again. Yeah, except worse. Yeah, like, that's no, like, confident businessman who, like, you're in a room with and with just in a suit fucking stares you down and you're just gonna be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for what, I'm sorry for what I said. Yeah, yeah. No, I think, um, the best Batman we've had is actually the newest one. I wanna yeah. yeah, I wanna He's say the perfect blend of both. Yeah, Ben Affleck Batman is good. It's like, how do you feel about Christian Bale's Batman? Cuts to a clip of Christian Bale asleep in the chair, like <laughs> from uh, Dark Knight, just like uh, all fucking knocked out. Because I still really, really like this is just me. I still really like George Clooney as Bruce Wayne. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh Michael Keaton as Batman was cool. Yeah, on both yeah. fronts. Yeah, he man. I don't enough. remember a lot of his Bruce Wayne, but I know his his Batman. His was Bruce cool. Wayne doesn't have the quality you're talking about, but he's still as the Bruce Wayne that's tortured and we see in the Batcave brooding. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, but no, like for for like the the captain of industry that's also able to like think and craft and stuff. Yeah, I think of fucking. I think of um, ER. ER. You mean the actual TV George Clooney? Show? George Clooney. Yeah. Okay. I think I think of him. That's that's my favorite. That's <laughs> I my forgot favorite. he was on the show. Yeah. yeah that was that's my Rick. favorite. Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton standalone as Batman works really well. But no, yeah. I agree. Ben Affleck is the perfect merging of both. Yeah. 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 Man. But I think Ben Affleck does play better Bruce Wayne. Yeah. I really really hope they do a Batman standalone with Ben Affleck. That's just a straight up adaptation of Serious House on Serious Earth. If they did that. I would I would applaud them, but I don't think they've got the nuts for it. I don't nope. think they do either. And if they did, I would want them to do it years from now. Yeah. After they've established the his world, and after they've brought in a lot because of those it, villains it, it, in it takes smaller that weight, roles, that history to really nail exactly. that. Exactly. So you so really then when couldn't... you like after you see all these films of him fighting these villains and putting them away, and then it starts with like. He's going to Arkham Asylum, yeah. where all these people are in one place. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, and then he fucking talks to Jared Leto, who grabs his ass. What the f- Get your filthy ass off me! Jared Leto is still fucking terrible as the Joker. He is. Just from what you guys said about that uh, history thing, it would be uh, great if they did a uh, Batman Beyond movie. And he was the old Batman. Ben Affleck was the old Batman teaching the new kid. That'd be pretty good. That would be I cool. would I would love to see a Batman Beyond movie done right. Yeah. He's just going to disappoint you. Really? Really? <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Badly. Man, that's... At some point, that's one we got to do a commentary on. What is that from again? Suicide Squid. Oh, yeah. Squid Aside Squad. Because he, come, he comes in, it's like, oh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to hurt you. Oh, oh really? Dur. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm bad. God. Did you guys? Fucking Joker laugh when he holds up his hand to his mouth. That's got a tattoo of like a fucking giant ass smile on the back of his hand. <laughs> Why would you do this? Uh, you guys saw the um, honest trailers for that, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that was brutal. This is Katana. <laughs> She's got my back. <laughs> I don't advise being killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of his victims. But yeah, the way he says it too. Her sword traps the souls of her victims. <laughs> I can't even do it right. I was almost doing a Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> this is Katana. She's in the name? movie for reasons. <laughs> well, that was Batman Begins. Yeah. It was a movie that was mostly about... A man who went to Tibet to find himself and instead found that he could dress up as a bat and kill people. What was the final bat counter? 24. <laughs> 24 flocks of bats. Yeah, we would have been... <laughs> shit. We would have been out. 23 if you really want to get technical and count out that baseball bat smashing the mass. But then you could get more technical and count every fucking instance the bats showed up in that one scene. So we'll say 24. <laughs> I think the leverage count was 2. 2. Only two for leverage. There's very few moments of memorable dialogue in this film. There's the part where he's like, I don't have to kill you, but I can save you, and then the what does whatever defines me, and yeah. I'm trying to think of any other moments. Swear of really, to me. Swear to me, and 
Now we're two when he's like got the stapler to the back yeah. and he's talking to Commissioner Gordon. Uh, like that's yeah. kind of neat. There's a few lines that are like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, but the rest of it's pretty straightforward dialogue, uh, I guess. Does Morgan Freeman come back at the end there? And then in the next movie, we'll have to have a close to the chest counter. No, oh, yeah. That is said like at least three or four times. We really? Yes. Huh. I just figured, I know it's the same writers, but I just figured it's probably just some kind of Gothamism. Yeah. You know. Like things that people say in certain areas. Yeah. Like getting weak. Yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Well, that was our commentary for Batman Begins. Thank you for joining us. We will definitely be doing the other movies at some point. Even if it takes a while for them to come out on the channel, we do plan on doing those. Because I do really want to watch The Dark Knight again. And I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing The Dark Ro uh, Dark Knight Rises a second <coughs> time. Yeah, no. <laughs> and seeing that again is going to be fun to joke. Yeah. So, for oh Ordinary Men Who Fight yeah. Like Heroes, yeah. this has been Chris Fearing. Drunks and Dragons. Ballistic Robot. That's cute. Saying, stay out of trouble. And we'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the credits. And remember, stay for that stinger. I'm, it's, it's there. You just, you gotta wait. It'll be there. Bye, guys.